So we have here two and two thirds plus eight and three fourths. And I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can compute what this is. So now let's work through this together. And there's a bunch of ways that you can tackle this. I'll do it in a couple of different ways. So one way that you might see is to just rewrite this expression, to just rewrite two and two thirds plus, plus eight and three fourths, plus eight and three fourths. And you might be saying, why would I rewrite it this way? Well, when you rewrite it this way, it's very clear that these are the fraction parts of the mixed numbers, and these are the whole number parts of the mixed numbers, and maybe we can add them separately. But before we even start adding the fraction parts of the mixed numbers, we notice that we have different denominators here. We have a three, and we have a four. So it'd be nice to find a common denominator. And we've seen multiple times in the past when you're adding fractions with unlike denominators, a good common denominator would be their least common multiple, the least common multiple of three and four. Well, what's that going to be? Well, let's look at the multiples of four. Four is not per perfectly divisible by three. Eight is not perfectly divisible by three. 12 is, in fact, 12 is four times three. So I can rewrite both of these fraction parts with 12 as their denominator. So this is going to be equal to, this. let me just write it this way. So I can rewrite it as two and something over 12. Now what would be that something over 12? To go from three to 12 in the denominator, we multiply by four. So we have to multiply the numerator by four as well. So two times four is eight. Two thirds is the same thing as eight twelfths. So two and two thirds is the same thing as two and eight twelfths. And then we could do the same thing down here. Eight and three fourths is gonna be the same thing as eight and something over 12. Well, to go from four to 12 in the denominator, you multiply by three. So we have to multiply the numerator by three as well. Three times three is nine. And now we can add. We can add, and what do we get? Well, we have eight twelfths plus nine twelfths. That's going to be 17, 17 twelfths. Well, you might recognize 17 twelfths, this is greater than or equal to one. So we could actually, this is an improper fraction right over here. So we can actually rewrite this. We can rewrite this as a mixed number. Let me, let me make it clear, 17 twelfths. So do it right over here, 17 over 12 is the same thing as one and five twelfths. How did I figure that out? 12 goes into 17 one time, and then I still have five left over. 17 twelfths is the same thing as one and five twelfths. So what I could do is I could write the five twelfths part in the fraction part of our, or I guess the fraction place on our numbers, and then I can regroup the one, put it in the whole number column. And now I can just add the one plus two is three plus eight is 11. So we get 11 and five twelfths. 11 and five twelfths. Now there's other ways that we could have tackled this. What we could have done, what we could have done is gone from this place, right over here, the two and eight twelfths and the eight and nine twelfths, and we could have converted these into improper fractions, then added those improper fractions. So we could have said that this is the same thing, let me rewrite it as, let's see, two is the same thing as 24 twelfths, plus eight is going to be 32 twelfths. So I could rewrite this top mixed number as 32 over 12, clearly an improper fraction. And I could rewrite this bottom mixed number as, let's see, eight is how many twelfths? That's going to be 96 twelfths plus another nine twelfths is 105 twelfths. 105 twelfths. If what I just did looks a little bit confusing, I, you should review the, the Khan Academy videos on converting mixed numbers to improper fractions or, or vice versa. But now I could tr think about adding these two. And what, what would I get? I would get 32 twelfths plus 105 twelfths, which would be what, 137, 137 twelfths. And then if we wanted to rewrite this as a mixed number, we could say, okay, let's see, 12 will go into 137 11 times. So it goes 11 times. 11 times 12 is 132, so you'd have five left over. So it's 11 
and five twelfths. So you could have done it either way. I think this one would this the way we did it the first time would have been a little bit easier because you didn't have to deal with these really big numbers like 137 and 105 and 32, and you just dealt with more straightforward numbers. You say, hey, look, eight twelfths plus nine twelfths is seventeen twelfths, which is the same thing as one and five twelfths, and then you add one and five twelfths plus two plus eight is going to give you eleven and five twelfths.